Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in this Flutter tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create a .exe file of your Flutter Windows application so that you can distribute throughout the world by creating a .exe file of your Flutter app so that user can easily install it and use it. Okay, so let's begin with the tutorial. Okay, so let's go to our Android Studio and over here I have created a new Flutter project by name Flutter Windows and this is the basic counter app given by flutter team while creating new flutter project so you can see uh, counter increment so this will perform counting when a user press on a button so we will just keep it as it is and we will just create a windows version of this flutter app okay so let's begin so you can see this project structure so in project structure we have android model iso model web model but there is no windows model so first of all we need to create a windows model over here okay so for that just go to a terminal and enter this command being into your uh, flutter project okay so flutter config enable windows desktop okay so just enter this command and hit enter okay so you will get a message saying that setting enable uh, windows desktop is true so now you just need to restart your ide okay so let's do that so just go to file and restart invalid and restart okay so now my ide got restarted so after restarting you must run one more command that is in your terminal that is flutter create platform is equal to windows comma mac os and linux okay so just enter this command so make sure that it, there are two dashes over here and hit enter okay sorry so it's linux uh, okay sorry but it was showing me some error in creating windows model okay so and then after i researching i just found out i was not using making use of a dot over here so this the command is correct so after that you must make a dot over here so after that uh, windows model has been created as you can see over here so just do it and then you may see a windows folder being created over here so this is our windows uh, flutter windows application folder okay so now we need to build flutter windows application so for that again go to terminal and run flutter build windows uh, so this will create a build version of your flutter windows app so let's wait okay so our flutter uh, windows build is been generated so let's check it by going to flutter project build windows runner release version so you can see this is my flutter windows app so here you can see that is there is a exe file being generated and if i run it my flutter code will run and it's working perfectly fine okay so now we uh, this we cannot distribute this to our client because uh, we need to share this three folders three files to our client to run this app okay so for that we need to create a installation file that is exe file exe installer file okay so we need to create it so now suppose if i delete a folder so if i delete this dle file uh, so means i'm trying to explain you that if a client by mistake delete this dll file okay and then he try to run this uh, exe file you can see there is an error saying something is missing so you can see that is dle file is missing to run this program okay so for that we need to create a installer and we must um, wrap this into that installer folder okay so let's do that so for that we must install an application called as ion setup so just go to google and search ion setup okay and this is the setup we need to download it so download ion setup and download the stable version from here 
so which I have already done and just open this setup okay okay and here click on create new script file okay next and give a application name over here so I will name it as flutter windows and give your company name give your website name so i will just keep it as it is or else i can give my website name okay and hit enter next okay so there is nothing to be done over here next so here you need to select your exe file of your flutter project okay so this file you need to select so let's do that so i will just copy this folder and browse it okay so you need to select this flutter exe file so this is same as this okay just select this exe file and then here you need to add files and folders so in files you need to add these two files that is exe file and dle file one by one okay and dle file okay so let's verify it so you can see exe file is been selected and dll file is been selected and then we need to add a folder that is our data folder okay so just go to the path where your project is there Okay, over here you must select this data folder in your build of your flutter windows app okay so just select this windows data folder yes so just verify it so this is my path to the data folder release data folder okay and after selecting these three files hit next and associated file type so just untick this it is not needed for us next create a shortcut execution file next license there is no needed of license to be submitted okay so admin installation module for all users okay languages that your app supports while well, installation to guide your users in installing your flutter app then next okay and then here uh, you need to select where your exe file should generate that is installer file okay so i will just build it in my build exe file that is under windows uh, desktop so just select this folder so here exe file will be created in my desktop build exe folder i have created and give a name to this exe file that the app will compile so I will just name it as protocoder okay and you can just uh, select an icon for this installer so let's select an icon so my icon I have created in my desktop so this is the icon I have created so there is no password being set next next finish okay so new script will be created by this uh, ion uh, setup so just create click on x s and give a name to the script i will name it as abcd something save it okay so it is building exe file for us the installation file okay so exe file got created so let me open my folder where this exe file got created Okay, so build.exe this is the folder where I have generated exe file so now when I press click double click on this exe file you can see it is prompting of a window where this my flutter application will get installed okay next so this is basic installation setup has been created of my flutter app so let's do that okay launch flutter window okay now you can see our flutter installation file has been created so now you can just distribute this exe file to uh, your client or to your customers 
to um, who are going to use your flutter app okay so let me check my desktop so you can see this is the windows app that was installed so the user can click on it and start your flutter application that is windows application easily okay so thanks for watching this was the easiest step for creating windows exe file for distribution purpose uh, so that's all for this video tutorial uh, so if you have any doubts you can just comment down below and you can just contact me on my uh, instagram account if you face any issues in flutter applications so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you